Well, on uh, the Academy Award uh, red carpet, we also kind of, well, we're living in maybe a new era through a short <laughs> king spring. What? Did you know? So according to GQ, thanks to celebrity couples with noticeable height differences like Zendaya and Tom Holland, Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban, there's a pro short guy movement taking over. <laughs> So my question, <laughs> does height matter to you? You know, I mean, this makes me really happy <laughs> on many levels. I mean, I grew up with this idea <clears throat> that I think all of us did, which was you got to go for the tall, dark, and handsome. And I think by default, I know I felt a lot of times like I, I if I was with a guy who wasn't as tall as me or, was, or short or whatever, that I'm somehow the bigger person. And I even remember meeting, meeting Jason and thinking for a hot second, like, maybe I'm too big for him. And all of the things that go along with that, like the man has to be, the subtext is the man has to be the protector and he has to be bigger than me and I need to feel small in order to be attractive to him. And I think what we're seeing is we're gonna turn that all in their heads. And I'm so glad I went against that idea when I met Jason because it turns out there are a lot more things that were important for me in that relationship. And I right now have a son who is probably gonna be height challenged and I want him to be seen or for- Or height blessed. I, I don't- yeah, well, there you go. I, blessed, I mean, sure. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, that's a great way to flip it on its head. Yeah. I just, yeah, I, I, I hope that we see more of this and, and kind of knock these silly gendered ideas on yes. their heads. But is there something wrong with having a type? Or do we, are you saying we need to unpack that? I think we need to unpack it. I think, I think we need to question it. When I hear about people who are in the dating scene and they say, oh, I could never date a guy with fill in the blank here, yeah, yeah. or vice versa. I think you just have to question that a bit. Yeah. yeah, and we have to expand what a type could be, because perhaps you do have a short king thing, but until now you didn't really speak <laughs> about it or put it on your <laughs> dating profile or whatever. And I think you bring up a, an incredible point, Cynthia, about bigness and about what that means to a woman and how we're supposed to somehow be diminutive in our dating scenarios. And excuse me, I mean, I'm 5'10", right? <laughs> yeah, you I am are. Wearing, and I am wearing huge yeah, you heels are. right now. And or, and I never, ever would have gone down this large heel uh, aisle. Specifically in high school, I was also 5'10", dear God. <laughs> and uh, I had to wear so many horrible flat shoes mm -hmm. at proms and semi-formals. And so this makes me so happy for the short kings and for the tall queens. Because yes. you can just do sort of whatever you want and it but all makes sense. what was dating like though for you? <laughs> <laughs> because there is the thing, like there's the Coming short up king. to the break. <laughs> <laughs> because there's, a, there's the hardship and challenges that it sounds like a sure. lot of shorter guys face, but there's equally the challenges yes. that tall women face. Of course, yes. So when I see Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas, I'm like, well, that's great. Because the look <laughs> on his face is proud. He loves mm -hmm. his tall woman and she is looking fabulous and she is looking pregnant and wonderful <laughs> and they're just they're they're blossoming together and I just think that's so cool to see I, I look forward to this next generation that doesn't have to live into those archaic stereotypes mm -hmm. I think there's a cultural aspect to this too when mm -hmm. I think about it because I come from a culture and you do too where proportionately we're shorter Asians are shorter than our you know white counterparts and I think do I do think in terms of unpacking, there is some white supremacy to, to do with in our conditioning for what is attractive when we're thinking about height. And in our culture, the way it's manifesting itself, like there's an article in the New York Times a few uh, years ago, um, there's a surgery and procedure trend in Asia, specifically Korea, where they're trying to like yes, lengthen Yes, I people. read about this. Oh my gosh. And so this is it's in our DNA to mm. be perhaps a little bit on average shorter than our white counterparts. But in Korea, they've seen a growth in height. Like the average height of men and women over the last generation has increased something by like three to four inches. That's a lot. That's a lot. And height is prized in many places in the East, and there is a conditioning of, of, of white supremacy there that I, I feel like we have to try and like avail ourselves of. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad is like this big and really adorable. He really. Is. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need Ma yeah, here. I feel like, yeah, we, we need, need your Ma here to have a little unpacking <laughs> session too. <laughs>